this passiveness, this laziness is ensuring the total takeover. And that's all I'm saying. Those of you that are afraid to fight the evil because you're scared it'll come after you, it's going to come because you won't fight it. And so we're standing up here against the enemy knowing that there's no future for anybody if we don't do this. We can't give the world over to the worst minds, the most degenerate control freaks, the most psychopathic uh, you know, people out there. We cannot do it. We have a responsibility to just give it our all, and then that's when you're really alive. The corruption that's manifesting is the nastiest form of ultra-authoritarian evil that has ever existed. I mean, it's, it's right out of the mind of the devil stuff. I mean, if you don't believe in the devil, that's your issue. This might as well be the devil. The devil's real. Whether you believe it's a spiritual entity or not, humans together are manifesting a spirit that is right out of the worst stuff in the Bible. The most important thing we can do is recognize wholesomeness and recognize beauty and recognize the beauty of the sound of the sea. That is the connection to the universe. That is the, the beginning of understanding what our true potential is, is that we are sentient, conscious beings with souls who can commune with God and, and, and the evidence of God is in the firmament, it is in the stars. My buddy, he was prepared from the start, ready. He'd always warned me about this. He'd say, why don't you read this? Or, Look at that, or <laughs> listen to this. And then things just started happening. And no one seemed to care. Then when they finally came, everybody just herded up like sheep. After New York, when most of the East Coast was under martial law, a uh, multi-state perimeter was set up, and all those sheep you're talking about were sent somewhere to the Midwest. That's why you ain't seen nobody, especially since you were so close to the city. I was stationed out near Pittsburgh when it hit the fan. It was okay for a while. Things were civil, and the higher up started taking orders from offshore or somewhere other than where it should. So maybe a couple months, I decided I'd flee my unit, get lost. I realized my part there. Everything I once believed slowly left. Nothing seemed, you know, morally acceptable. Well, to me, at least. Certain orders we were given, missions, didn't make the slightest bit of sense. So, early, one early morning, packed up my gear and did what I knew needed to be done. At this point, why not take a different path? Maybe I'll end up a little bit better. I mean, I'm confident they're not after me. I mean, what would be the point after all that's unfolded? So I headed east. I walked. As I crossed the Penn border into North Jersey, I was confronted by some sort of group or organized militia. They took me in, gave me food, they were actually kind to me. Let me carry my guns. They told me groups like theirs were growing. They told me I could stay, I could fight alongside. Or they could use my training and experience. These were not bad people. 
they were the resistance. And then what happened? Uh, it could only have been a couple days. They wanted to explore up ahead out east. But I knew where they were heading. I knew what was there. It was a death trap. And I made sure I had my word in on this. But whether they believe me or not, they didn't care. So they went off. So I left. I told them I had my own loved ones to seek out, places to go. And they didn't care in the slightest. I still think about their fate, what happened to them. Ashley, what are you doing, baby? No, it didn't go well. It's the economy, around money is the economy. But don't worry, because we'll be going to the shore this summer, and me and you. So, when am I going to see you? One day this world is going to change, and we're all going to be a part of it, whether we like it or not. Rob spoke of these times, and I didn't heed his warning till the end. And things just started happening. No one seemed to care. Then when they finally came, everybody just herded up like sheep. 